Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. This is another part of the survival type series, Revelation chapter 12. The woman is going to be the church, regardless of what the pre-tribbers say. And uh, one day that's going to be the future of the church, just like God led Israel out into the wilderness away from Egypt. So will that happen also in the future? Uh, these, they have books on edible wild plants. Did you know that pine needles, you can take warm water and take young pine needles, stick them in the water for a certain amount of time. I don't know, 10, 15, 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. I don't know. But uh, they will supply vitamin C, which you need every day. You need vitamin C every day. Otherwise, you get a disease called scurvy and your teeth will fall out of your mouth. Um, did you know that you could eat the inner bark of a pine tree? Oh, yeah. Uh, not the, uh, the dark, dark brown stuff on the outside of the pine tree. No, you knock that stuff off. And then the inner bark is tan colored. You could actually cut that up and eat it. And there are all kinds of edible wild plants. The big thing is being able to identify them. Well, there are all kinds of books on edible wild plants. Uh, matter of fact, Amazon has a whole bunch of books on the subject. Let's say you live in Texas. Type in Texas edible plants. Boom, book comes up. How about you live in Colorado? Colorado wild plants, edible plants. Boom, book comes up. Florida, uh, you know, it would be very, very beneficial to know uh, what you could do with that information. You know, if the day ever came where, um, you know. Uh, also, do you know that they have a thing called a gill net? And uh, it is a piece of survival equipment on airplanes. Uh, perhaps you've heard of uh, ASE, Best Glide. Uh, Best Glide, ASE. Google them. It's a aviation survival equipment company. I think they're in Texas. Um, they have what's called gill nets. And you lay it across a stream or a river and catches fish. Uh, it's really not legal in a lot of states um, because anything that gets caught in it dies it catches the fish by their gills but the thing is uh, if you were in a survival situation like you were in a plane that went down uh, you know you're not worried about breaking in a laws you're worried about staying alive but the um, it's uh, for example uh, like the uh, Best Glide ASC, uh, they sell survival equipment for uh, aviation, for airplane pilots, and what have you. And they also supply kits for the military and governments uh, of various countries. It's sort of like a, an Air Force survival kit, although it's there is an actual Air Force survival kit that they issue that has some different things because they're... Um, they'll have an infrared flashlight that, you know, for uh, being able to pick up uh, if you're people, if there's, if there's a search and rescue helicopter looking for you, you know, it has special equipment like that. But these are like uh, real good, you know, they have pocket survival kits and what have you. But uh, being able to identify plants for food would be possibly be very beneficial one day so you know uh some of the books have color pictures uh peterson's p-e-t-e-r-s-e-n-s -E 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 has a, a field guide and uh some of the military books have field guides for plants uh the army one's not very good from what i've read i've never owned it but there is a whole bunch of uh wild plants uh guides but the main thing is being able, not knowing what they are, but being able to identify them with pictures. So Amazon has a whole bunch of them. So something to think about, uh, you know, something to put in your FEMA pack for, uh, you know, in case there's a disaster. So 
All righty. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' precious name. Amen.